What is up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? It's your boys. We back for another. Well, not really HHN update, no. but this is actually a little uh, HHN preparation. Hell yeah! Right there, right there. Eh, eh. It's so scary. It's so scary. Anyways, last video, you guys wanted us to say what are our five, you know, most scariest mazes that we can remember, and we did that. Woo! Look at this guy. Anyways, now we've come to give you five of our least scary mazes that we've been through. And I kind of also want to add least scary and most disappointing mazes. Okay, yeah. I started last time. Remember, same rules that apply. I haven't seen Josue's. Josue hasn't seen mine. Damn but this time, straight. he's going to start. Okay. Without further ado, let's jump into this. Ah! So for my number five, I picked La Llorona. La Llorona 2012, I believe. Mm -hmm. Which was La, La Vida de something. Oh, the... the, the uh, it's the, the, very, the, the very first La Llorona. Uh -huh. And I picked this one just because, compared to the, to the following years, La Llorona maze, ten times better. Absolutely better. First of all, La Llorona... It was, it was a great idea. I thought, oh, that's pretty cool. That's like something I can get down with and I went through and there were some good scares in that first maze but but uh, it's just the second maze I compare it to so much was it just blew it out of the water so my least favorite scary maze but still pretty good if like if I brought it back is La Llorona La Vida de blah 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 I, I, I'll fill in the blank right here <laughs> My number five. Can you guys guess it? I'll give you a second. All right, seconds up. Crimson Peak, Maze of Madness. Now I put this as the five for both of the maze uh, category because for me, Crimson Peak was the best of both worlds. It because I had no idea what to expect with the film. I arrived pumped and I was ready to be scared. That didn't happen. I I, I mean, kind of, kind of got scared at like the beginning, and then and then when they just decided. That they ran out of characters and only made like you know animatronics, Pirates of the Caribbean. Dude, I was just, at Freddy's. It w it was like five, really five really Five Nights at Crimson Peak. Really bad version of Five Nights at Crimson Peak, and <laughs> because of that, it's like uh, you know. But I still have to give it for the fact that I did go in there expecting to be scared, and I was at the beginning, but not the entire match. <laughs> gentlemen my number four has got to go to 2012's The Walking Dead Dead Inside as much as my lot my lot as much as my heart loves The Walking Dead and I mean if you ever see me in my backpack dude Walking Dead you know I'm up to I'm up to date with the seasons you know I got all the comic books you know I got I sometimes cosplay as Michonne anyways um, The Walking Dead as much as I love it first year it was that Universal mm, we went, I went, okay, so here's like my judgment. I went on it twice. Once, because the first time we went through, me and my friends were so scared that we kind of just ran through the maze. But what I did get from running through the maze is that it was really short. All the scenes were very connected in together and it was just like, you're in, you're in there for like maybe a few minutes, and then you're out. And that's, I don't know, it's just kind of weird. Hello, dog. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, and then we went in the second round, we decided, all right, let's take this nice and slow and, you know, see what it is. And once again, it felt slow, not as slow as before because we ran through it, but I felt like it went slow and it was a lot more of like, look at the set design and stuff like that, really than here's a zombie jumping out at you about to eat you. But I, I feel that they've learned from that first uh, maze and like all the Walking Dead mazes now, especially last year's. Amazing. Speaking of last year's Walking Dead, I put for my number four, Walking Dead Wolves Not Far of 2015. Now this, the maze itself, was really great. But see, the thing is, I went in a group with Josue, and Josue was in the front, and he kind of gave me like almost a warning before every jump scare there was, because he would scream, and I'd be like, oh, something's coming. And then something would come. That's not fair though, okay? <laughs> they have to know that while we were going through, 
the, the, the pack in front of us. Okay, 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 well, we gotta say, okay, first time then. I'm telling you about the first time we went, because the second time we went, the, the pack in front of us left. So oh, we were okay. all by ourselves. That's why I put this at number four and not higher up in the uh, least scary, because the second time we went, we were we were the only ones surrounded by walkers, and it was like, oh, we're, we're back. We're we're actually in the Walkie Dead. <laughs> so the first time we went, because uh, I'm talking about my first experience with that maze, it was like, okay, there you are. Oh, there you are. So I just I knew what to expect, and it was just like, eh. But of course, it's Walking Dead. Moment we arrived, the music turned on, and you hear the snarling of all the walkers while you see them coming straight at you. That 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 worked. That was amazing. Yeah. I enjoyed it. Alright, my number three, and now we're getting to the kind of really not so scary, kind of disappointing ones that Thomas was saying. I give it to 2014's face off in the flesh. Great concept, <laughs> just kind of lacking the scares. So this uh, this maze is actually set in the old House of Horrors. Rest in peace, R.I.P. Back on Dios. And uh, yeah, it, there was hype all over it because I was I was I, I watched the show. The show was pretty cool, seeing like what the people can do and stuff like that. So I thought, yo, they're gonna bring these professionals and they're gonna make some great like monsters from that I've seen in the show, and it's gonna be lit. And like maybe they're gonna change some things in the House of Horrors to like give that monsters their like, I guess their, their home or like their environment. Well, no, it was still the same house of horrors. Uh, the monsters really didn't, I don't know, for me, they, they really didn't do it. Maybe just because uh, on the TV they look scary, but when you saw them in person, they're just like, okay. Hey. So yeah, I was kind of disappointed in that, but I really liked the concept of it. My number three goes to 2014 as well, From Dusk Till Dawn. Now, Josue oh. and I were so excited for this maze because we loved the show. We compared <laughs> ourselves as the, the brothers of the character. Uh, Los que cosas hermanos. There, can you see the resemblance? Huh? Oh, and <laughs> and uh, the maze itself was... Ah! It was, it was very... It was, it was disappointing because, first of all, it didn't even smell like blood. Like you would expect a vampire themed maze to be smelling like guts. Or beer. Or or beer because or like beer. it it's it's set it's set in a uh, strip club. And what it did smell like was cheese. In la noche. Ch cheese. I was what's so scary about cheese? Um to I, be fear if you're lactose intolerant, there's a lot. I of think scary. so. Okay, maybe because I wasn't lactose intolerant, it didn't really get to me the but maze. <laughs> Ooh, that, that's a good point but you know the maze that we had watched the show before we loved the show oh yeah absolutely i think for my personal experience with from dusk till dawn uh the characters were kind of laggy as well with that particular maze yeah. where they would sit and wait for me to pass by completely before they they decide to lunge at me. I was like, okay, I saw you. It's not like it was a surprise that you were gonna come at me. And so, yeah, from dusk till dawn, it was, you know, love the show, love the characters. The maze did not transfer over all the success of that show. All right, we're down to the number two spot. Now, this is the maze that I was like, Okay, you know, it's like, you had to put something there, you know? I'm giving it to 2014, 2015, this is the end 3D. That I is- I even put that on my list. That is my, <laughs> that's my number two. Now this is the end, it was like, again, the 3D mazes. For one, that's already something that does, doesn't catch my eye, I don't know, I just don't like 3D mazes, but it's a horror comedy turned into like a mo into a maze that's supposed to just be horror like yeah. there's no comedy in the maze yeah like like they they tried to force it on you like the whole Daniel Craig scene where he's like welcome to heaven mofos and like all that stuff Craig Robinson oh what did i say Daniel Craig Daniel Craig James Bond Daniel James James Bond <laughs> and uh, Seth Rogen <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I just, I, oh God, that maze, 
it was it was fun. I'll add on to that. Um, <laughs> one thing for our second time going through that maze, you, um, it, there was a section where because the, you're supposed to enter heaven, yeah. it blinds you. <laughs> and we had no idea where we were going, so we actually ended up exiting the maze. <laughs> and I was like, wait, what? No, I want to go back in. And so that's why I feel like it was just, it was too much for us. Yeah, I agree with you that it, they, they tried to make it comedic and it failed flat. Yeah. My number two Ooh. is 2015's Alien vs. Predator. Now, 2014 Alien vs. Predator was pretty good. Like, it was like, okay, you know, it was an okay film. Let's see what the maze is gonna be. And the maze was actually pretty cool, you know, it was, it was uh, visually, you know, nice. I wouldn't say it was stunning, but it was, it was, yeah, okay. 2015 <laughs> was the exact same maze of 2014. That was so disappointing because I wanted to see something different and I didn't see anything different. Sorry about that, but as I was saying, the, it was the exact same maze of 2014. I wanted to see something different, anything different, and it wasn't. It was the same, you walk through, you have Predator on one side, Alien on the other, and they just kind of lunge at you, but they don't really lunge at you, they're just kind of, ah. and then you enter another room where you see the, the queen uh, alien, and she's like, ah, but it was the exact same thing. So I entered, and I was just like, okay, fine, let's do this. I was so excited for some change, and there was no change at all. So that's why it gets my number two, because it was disappointing, but not as disappointing as my number one. Oh, God. All right, number one. We're here. Finally. Finally. Saddest and not scariest maze of HHN for us. Ironically, my number one goes to 2015's Alien vs. Predator. I felt that. I felt that. Because god damn, it was the same maze! <laughs> now, I understand that it was the, the fan favorite in 2014. So they were like, hey, let's bring it back to 2015. But the same thing? You had an entire year to break that stuff down and build something else in there. Or not even just break that down, maybe change a few scenes here and there. But it was the same man. They honestly should have just closed Soundstage 747 and just opened it back up in October. <laughs> it was the same maze. Now, don't get me wrong. 2014's AVP, woo, girl, I loved it, I loved it, I loved 2014's AVP, I'm like it, I'm like this weirdo, I thought it was cool, it was visually cool, it was, had some good scares in there, I thought some of the effects were pretty cool, uh, the killer queen at the end, she's a killer queen, she was cool, uh, you know, everything about that maze was cool, you know, it was the same thing, 2015! I knew where everything was going to be! <laughs> that was the same thing! Okay, guys, okay. So my number one... It was the same thing! <laughs> so my number one... You already heard it. 2014 Face Off in the Flesh. <laughs> I love Face Off. I love it so much. <laughs> House of Horrors was great. The Monsters Remix, amazing. I don't know what happened the night that we went, but literally the makeup was peeling off the actors. You could see where they half assed some of the makeup because there was like paint splotches. And it was just, what? You, you can't bring something like television so iconic and all about being precise with the makeup and then not be precise with the makeup. And, and, and then w there was this part where even the show tried to hype up Halloween Horror Nights where there, they, there was a competition to make an original monster that you would see at Halloween Horror Nights. And it was um, this, this, it was called like the Axe Girlfriend and she was supposed to arrive at the end of the maze. 
Was she even there? She was. She was there. Oh, we okay. we ran into her, but her makeup was awful. Like in the show, I it remember won. this. Yes, it won because it was so awesome looking. It yeah. was badass because it looked yes. like she had like a giant shotgun shell in her face. This looked like she just had a giant swell or something. It was so disappointing as a fan for the show. So disappointing as a fan for the event that face up in the flesh. I hate to say this, made me happy that House of Horrors was closing. I actually wish that it had a close before that even happened, just so that it's, it's ended on a highlight yeah, and not on that. Yo, that hurts though. The House of the Rest in Peace, House of Horrors, <laughs> Life and you. We love it. No, but I completely agree with Thomas. Uh, it's just, and it's not even that like we went like at the end and like all the actors like oh all the way. No, we were like in the middle. Yeah, yeah it was like it was like a good mid thing. I think I actually think it was like a few maybe like thirty minutes after they had just changed yeah. the, the actors because we saw characters kind of like sneaking away at that time. But yeah, it was <sighs> so disappointing. Let's just throw in, you know, we mean like like like. No harm in this oh, at course, all. Of course. Now, these are just things that, like, our personal opinion and stuff like that. We appreciate, you know, everything John Murdy does for us and the events and everything, you know, he goes out. And we understand that sometimes things don't go as planned. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, same f***ing maze. But also, <laughs> if you guys actually like these mazes, don't take it as, like, we're saying that you're wrong to Yeah, no, 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 no. Good for you. You can actually like something yeah. that we can't. Yeah, absolutely. Good for you. And you know what? Um, maybe you saw something where you had a different experience. Yeah. Let us know in the comments what your experience Definitely. was. Definitely. If you guys want to tell us, oh, you guys maybe went on the wrong time, or my experience was a lot better than your guys, maybe that's why you guys have these opinions, let us know. Don't know how you're going to compete with ABP's same maze. <laughs> they'll, maybe they'll have a reasoning. Maybe you guys will have... They went in a different maze. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, let us know what you guys think about our opinions, what your guys' opinions is. We'd love to hear them, and as always, we, we read all our comments, and we're just like, <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> and thank you guys so much for commenting. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We enjoy that stuff. It really, you know, builds our confidence. And, and it helps us push this channel even harder and faster and stronger. Now, it gives us motivation to really make the best content for you possible. Absolutely. All right, guys. Well, you know, if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button. Of course, comment about your experience, or maybe there was a maze that we we just found too awful to even remember, and yeah. you remember it. Let us know. Or maybe there's even you, some of you from Orlando, and maybe you have a maze that we haven't even heard of. Yeah, I like to hear that. Of course, kind of like what we did with the most uh, with the scariest mazes. I'll put uh, links just down there in the description to our least scary mazes. So maybe you can experience it yourself, or if you have, just a little refresher. Yeah. By the way, Orlando, uh, if anybody's from Orlando, can you guys tell me how Run was? I believe Run was last year. It was like a, it was like a competition maze thing where it was like you're on a game show and they're all trying to kill you. Let me know in the comments how that was because it looked really interesting, but we didn't get it here, but I wanted to see it. So yeah, hopefully we'll get it. All right, and of course, you know, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. <laughs> Make sure to see we post new videos every week. Hell yeah. And, you know, sometimes they're not always Halloween Horror Nights related, but, you know, this is Halloween Horror Nights season, so it's gotta be Halloween Horror Nights. Hey, we're gonna pump out that Halloween Horror Nights vibes, dude. Of course, I'm Thomas. I'm Josue. Oh, and this is T-L-E-V. We out here. Woo! Same maze!